Bianca Marie here. So happy that you were able to join this doula community chat. So this Friday, we're going to be talking about healthy eating. As doulas with our clients, we focus so much on the um, delivery process, um, that journey. We focus on the health of the baby, you know, once the baby is there, how they're doing, making sure they're comfortable, making sure everything is set from the nursery and the transition home and so forth. But I want to just um, highlight healthy eating options for the birthing person, for that mom. Um, healthy eating is so important and helpful um, and beneficial to their recovery to them getting back on their feet afterwards, um, to that transition and so forth. And so I want to talk today about ways um, and resources that can help them um, with their healthy eating options um, once um, they have entered um, their postpartum journey, that phase. And as doulas, there's so much that we can do um, to assist them with that. You know, in the past, we've talked about meal planning and meal prepping um, and some other resources. So today, let's talk a little bit more about food itself. So welcome to this doula community chat. If it is your first time, let us know in the comment section. Let us know where you're from and what type of doula that you are. So buckle up and let's talk about healthy eating. <laughs> your baby's brain starts to form when your baby is conceived. Eating well right from the start helps to make a healthy brain. During pregnancy, everything you eat and drink, and the things that are around you, have an impact on your baby's brain. It's better to start taking the best care of yourself even earlier when you are thinking of getting pregnant. Choose fresh, healthy foods from all the food groups of Canada's Food Guide. You want some fruits? Yeah, I would like to have some fruits. Choose whole grains and unprocessed foods. Avoid eating fatty, sweet, and heavily salted foods. Eating for two means to eat twice as healthy, not twice as much. Make sure you include important nutrients such as folate, iron, vitamin C, calcium, and omega-3 fats. Talk to your healthcare provider about the need for vitamins. Diet and lifestyle are so important when you are pregnant because they affect the development of your baby and the brain. Well, Canada Food Guide summarizes it all, but even better, there is the model plate that ensures that the four food groups are there in the right proportion. Here we have the model plate with, where half of the plate is filled with vegetable, colorful, we're looking at green and orange. A quarter of the plate is grain bread pasta, high in fiber. And here you have the meat and alternative. We find folic acid in green vegetable, such as broccoli, spinach, asparagus. And folic acid is important because it helps to build the red cell and it also decrease the risk of birth defects. Another nutrient important for the pregnant woman is also iron. Iron helps to transport the oxygen throughout the body, including the brain. The source of iron are, for example, the meat and substitute, such as tofu, the legumes, and some seed. Another nutrient that's important is omega-3, which allows for the development of the brain and the eyes. So you find omega-3 in the fatty fish, such as salmon, and also in the seeds, nuts, tofu, and eggs. Pregnant women should avoid alcohol, drugs, and tobacco smoke. These can harm your baby's developing brain and may cause permanent damage. Pregnancy is a good time to be as healthy as possible as a family. Both parents can help create a healthy home where your baby will thrive and grow. As future parents, work together to be as healthy as possible. Take time to be active every day. Find ways to relax together. Yeah, I can feel her. <laughs> That's great. You want to kiss her? Sure. That's my little princess. High levels of stress can have a harmful effect on your baby. Do your best to have a calm, relaxed, and healthy pregnancy. Give your baby the best possible start. Indeed, when both partners are engaged in the pregnancy, you feel like there's a team and there's more support there. This is the best time for you to implement healthy habits because there's a child coming and that child will adopt your lifestyle. So you're doing this for somebody else as well. Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and welcome back to my channel, Whitney ERD. 
As you may know, I recently gave birth to my first child. While I was pregnant, I got a lot of questions about proper nutrition for moms-to-be. So on today's episode of The Sitch, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of basic prenatal nutrition. What you eat during pregnancy is so important for your baby's development and for their future health. Research shows that fetal malnutrition, which is both overnutrition and undernutrition, puts babies at a higher risk of diseases like diabetes and heart disease later in life. So to set your baby up for success, here are five tips to support a healthy pregnancy. Number one, eat more. During the first trimester, you should continue eating the same amount you did pre-pregnancy, but later you'll need a little bit more. Intake should increase by about 340 calories during the second trimester and about 450 calories in the third trimester. Now these are just estimates. You don't need to start counting calories. Simply listen to your body and eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. Your body will let you know what it needs to help baby grow. Number two, eat more protein, but not a lot more. Pregnant women need 71 grams of protein a day. This is about 25 grams more than usual. Six ounces of extra firm tofu will provide that amount or one cup of lentils plus one cup of quinoa. Now you don't want to go overboard with the protein though. Excessive protein intake during pregnancy might even decrease baby's growth. Therefore, experts recommend meeting your protein needs with real food versus protein powders or beverages. Number three, take your prenatal vitamins. While most nutrient needs can be met through a healthy diet, experts recommend that you cover all of your bases with a prenatal vitamin. Nutrient needs for iron, zinc, folate, vitamin D, and many other vitamins and minerals are increased during pregnancy, and taking a prenatal will ensure that you're getting the right amount of each. I like the new series from Rainbow Light for the first thousand days. The multivitamins cover each stage of pregnancy from preconception all the way through postnatal. FYI, you do need to keep taking a multivitamin while you're breastfeeding. The vitamins also contain critical nutrients for baby's brain development, like choline, that isn't found in all prenatal vitamins, but it certainly should be. They also contain pre and probiotics to support digestion, something that gets a little out of whack for many of us during pregnancy. Number four, don't skimp on the carbs. I always stress the importance of complex carbohydrates for a healthy diet, and pregnancy is no different. Pregnant women need a minimum of 175 grams of carbohydrates per day. Even women suffering from gestational diabetes need to eat this amount, and usually more. Pregnancy is not the time to go keto or low carb. Both dietary patterns could potentially be very harmful to your baby. Aim to get your carbs from healthy sources like fruit, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. And check out my pregnancy toast video for tasty healthy ideas. Number five, make sure you're getting your omega-3s. Omega-3 fatty acids are critical for baby's brain development, specifically DHA. DHA is mainly found in fish and it's derived from the algae that they eat. While the current recommended intake for DHA is 200 milligrams per day, some research suggests that 600 to 1,000 milligrams a day might be more beneficial for preventing preterm delivery and increasing baby's birth weight. Either way, make sure you're getting some. Two servings of low mercury fish per week will help you hit this amount. Low mercury fish includes salmon or chunk light tuna. You can also get your DHA by taking a daily fish oil supplement. And my plant-based or predominantly plant-based friends can take an algae oil supplement which provides an equally effective source of DHA. And that's the sitch. Eating for a healthy pregnancy really isn't that hard. Just listen to your body and balance your plate with fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, and legumes, and you'll be just fine. And of course, don't forget to take your prenatal vitamin. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more information on supporting a healthy pregnancy or a healthy diet in general. And visit my website, WhitneyERD, for references to all of the facts mentioned in this video. I'm Whitney. Thanks so much for watching.
During pregnancy, a baby is relying upon mom to provide them with the nutrients that they need to grow and develop. It is especially important during pregnancy to follow a general healthy diet for this reason that includes a variety of foods from each food group. However, pregnant women do have increased needs of calcium, iron, and folate, and for this reason, a daily prenatal vitamin is recommended. Women should take a prenatal vitamin prior to conception, during pregnancy, and while breastfeeding. It is also recommended to take a DHA supplement containing at least 200 milligrams per day. DHA is an essential omega-3 fat, which has been linked to brain growth. There are a few foods that are not recommended to consume during pregnancy. Pregnant women should not consume unpasteurized juices, milks, and soft cheeses. Lunch meat, hot dogs, and other cold cuts should only be consumed if they are heated until they are steaming hot. Red meat and eggs should also be cooked until well done. Some fish have a high mercury content, usually larger game fish such as white albacore tuna, and should be limited to six ounces per week. Fish should never be consumed raw during pregnancy. Adequate hydration is key during pregnancy. It is recommended a pregnant woman consume at least 12 cups of water per day. It's also recommended to limit caffeine to 200 milligrams per day, which is equivalent to about 12 ounces of coffee per day. Artificial sweeteners, which are typically found in diet beverages, should not be consumed in excess. Although mom is providing baby with all the nutrition they need during pregnancy, baby is small and therefore has small calorie needs. During the first trimester, baby does not require any additional calories and therefore mom doesn't either. During the second trimester, mom's calorie needs increase by 340 calories per day. During the third trimester, this increases to 450 calories per day. Based on your pre-pregnancy BMI, if you are in normal, healthy weight, you should aim to gain about 15 to 25 pounds during your pregnancy. It is also recommended to participate in physical activity once it's discussed with your doctor. So I hope you've enjoyed our resources that we shared and some videos and things that we shared about healthy eating options. Um, I also want to share a book that I have written um, and it goes into the postpartum journey overall from everything from exercises to eating and some other pieces like that. So I'll make sure to put a link um, to the book in the um, chat so you can take a look at it. But love um, everybody's comments um, and I love when you share with me um, how helpful these chats were. Love when you share with me um, some ideas for some other topics for the chat again this is our community and so come on come all welcome and I look forward to um, our next chat so this is the last one in August um, next weekend is uh, next Friday is a um, well yeah next weekend <laughs> it's a holiday weekend and so um, we won't have a chat um, next Friday but then after that we'll be right back so have a wonderful and safe week everyone and I will talk to you soon <music>